Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is the Wheel, Major Arcana card, Life Lessons card. And uh, I always love drawing this card because what this tells me is that I am the weaver of my own destiny, okay? The universe has its fate set up for me, their destiny, and it's up to me to make that decision on which way I go, okay? Right in the middle of that card, okay, is the wheel of the year. And that's kind of what the Wildwood Tarot is all about, is, is the different seasons and the different um, cycles that everything goes through. Attached, attached to that robe that's being made are the four feathers of um, the birds of action. That's the the hawk, the wren, the swan, and the kingfisher. And these are all um, the birds of, or the court cards of arrows. And, you know, what that tells me is there's a lot of uh, air energy around this, logic and reasoning, with, the, you know, in the fate and in the destiny of how life is proceeding as, as you're on that spiritual journey. The other thing that I noticed is, you know, the earth energy that's in there, holding that loom in place, the wood and the stones. Let me hold it up a little bit closer. Then you have the water energy all around that loom and the three herons in the background, which, uh, you know, kind of represent the psychic emotional energy of water. So what's missing? The element of fire is missing within this, okay? But fire is actually standing for creativity. So when you think about the element of creativity, that creativity is the skill set that's coming out of your hands to create that rope, to work with that loom, to create your own destiny, to create your own fate. The other thing that's interesting about this card is it's got both the sun and the moon up in the up in the other upper corners, which is telling me that even though the elements are helping you shape your destiny and shape your fate, the universe is there to give you the backing, to tell you that you can be as radiant as the sun, all right, and have that energy coming down and fulfilling you up, and you can have the energy of the moon. Okay, and using that energy to wax and wane, to go with the flow, the tides in and out. And it's very important in my mind that if you are creating something that is determining your fate or your destiny, that the universe is going gonna, is gonna to help fulfill that, whatever it is. They know it ahead of time. It's up to you to walk the path, to walk on that journey, to decide how you want to weave your destiny and your fate into the fabric of, you know, whatever it is that's going on. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's a, um, a career, all right? Figuring out the journey that you're on, weaving that story walking down that path, living that destiny, okay? Some days it's going to be easier. Some days it's going to be tougher, okay? But you are the maker of whatever journey you're on. You are the maker of how you move forward. You are the creator of that wheel of the year. And that's what this card is talking about. Okay, the loom also represents the patterns of the fate and chance. Okay, you cannot make a pattern out of this robe if you don't have the loom in the background. The spacing of, of the wires. Okay, how that loom, you know, the cloth that's needed to, you know, do the different pattern in the robe, to make the robe itself. With, now, with this being a major arcana card and a life lessons card, 
as the, the wanderer is on his journey, as he's meeting all these different people, he now comes upon this loom. And this loom tells him, you know what? You've got all this knowledge from all these other people. You've gained some insight. Now it's time to understand where you fit into the world, where your destiny is, where fate is leading you on your journey. The key here is change is unavoidable. It's unavoidable to remain going forward to be alive on your journey and path. You have to accept whatever it is that you're weaving. You have to accept the path that you're on, okay? And realize that as you move forward, you the ground has changed behind you. If you cross that creek, okay, that's been flowing, you can't change what's happened because it's already been washed down river. So we weave our own destiny within the fabric of the universe. And there's been a number of stories on that. Um, you know, the, the way I kind of look at it is, you know, just think of the lives that you've touched over the years. From, you know, young kids and teaching to mentoring coworkers, okay? Look at all the people that you've worked with in your organization or you've changed organizations or that you've remained connected to through your networking, Okay, family is a, a big one. Okay, when I when I first understood family, there was five of us, and then I understood that my family really is extended to my aunts and uncles and my you know my cousins. And as I continued to grow older, okay, with grandparents and, and grand you know. Um, great-grandparents as well. As I continued to grow older, as my parents moved on, as my great-grandparents moved on, as my grandparents moved on, as aunts and uncles have moved on, as cousins have moved on, I've replaced that, that network of people with sons, daughters, wives, their in-laws, okay? My own brother and sister, with nieces and nephews, okay? Now I'm at that stage where I've been influenced from above in the generations ahead of me, and I'm influencing the generations behind me that are still growing. And somewhere down the line, you know, it's going to be my opportunity to, you know, move on to the other side. You know, when that universe is, is, is ready for me to, you know, come up there and I've accomplished what I've needed to accomplish, then... You know, I'm looking forward to that day, but I still have a lot to teach. I still have a lot to give, all right, to be a mentor to others, to teach others, you know, how to move forward on their own spiritual journey. Nothing is, is predestined, all right, in an aspect of, you know, tomorrow I'm going to be in, in this position, because it's going to take some time to get there, okay? But as the weaver of my own journey, I can create that, that destiny to help get me there, all right? Whether I reach it or not, fate has already set that out ahead of me, okay? And it's up to, you know, I've, I've been given that free will to make that decision on which way to go. Now, I believe, even though I've made that free will to, to, to veer off my path, Somewhere down the line, spirit's going to come up and say, you know what? You're off track. You need to come back to center. You need to come back and, and walk that spiritual path. I have faith in that process. Okay? And it's going to throw new challenges at me. It's going to throw new trials at me. But everything that I've had in the past has gotten me to that point to learn and grow and move forward. So the key to this card the wheel is changes is that changes at hand right now. How you deal with that change is is the primary function of this card, and that's what this card is trying to tell the the wanderer on his journey. Change is coming. How you accept it, how you deny it, how you move forward with it, 
how you stay stagnant with it. Change is still going to happen. You make that decision on which way you want to go. You want to go left, you want to go right, you want to go back, you want to go forward. The universe has got your back on that. At the same time, if you remain stagnant, you're going to miss something. You might get it 10 minutes down the road or 10 years down the road. Okay? Keep creating. Keep weaving that loom. Okay? Keep staying active in your journey as you're moving forward. Sure, change is going to happen. Adapt to it. You know, adapt and overcome like the Marines. You know, just move forward. Keep going forward. Your own actions change how you're moving forward. Your own decisions, okay? Whether they're right or wrong, you, you make that decision, okay? That's going to change your life as you're, as you're walking down that spiritual path. And when you make that decision, be at peace and take control of your fate and your destiny. So changes at hand, as long as you make the right decisions or bad decisions, be at peace with it. Control it. Own it. Take ownership of your fate and destiny. So that's my thoughts on, on the wheel, Major Arcana card. Leave your comments down below if this resonates with you. Uh, hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. This is D for the Spirits Path. Have a great day, everybody.